I've shared it before, but one of my favorite stories in the Bible is when Jesus gets confronted about what to do with taxes. And this is a story that we've all heard a million times, and a lot of people, when you come across it, because it's a story you think you know and you think you've heard, you kind of just keep going without analyzing. But one time, a few years ago, I was really looking at this story, and I saw Jesus say something different that I've never noticed before, but it was like right there in front of me. Now, for those that don't know the story, Jesus is out and about as usual throughout the town. And what would happen is the Pharisees would try to put him into a situation where no matter what his answer is, he's in hot water. And this is actually the main problem throughout all the Gospels. And Jesus points this out. They were never looking for truth. Their hearts were hard on the truth. They were just trying to get him caught up in a situation. And <laughs> the devil's still doing that. Pay attention to a lot of the ways heretics act. But Jesus always had an answer that was just perfect. And it left everybody just like, okay. So they came to him and they said to him, Jesus, what do we do about taxes? Now, unlike asking a question that's divided amongst the Jewish people, this question, oh, this one's a little bit different because he's in the presence of Romans and Jews because the Roman centurions were in the cities with them. They were present. And if he answers, no, don't pay those taxes. The Jews don't owe anything to them. We are not under them. We're under God only. Rome doesn't like that. There's going to be a problem. And if he says, give it to them because they're great and give them the money and let's stop worrying about that. The Jews are going to be like, what? But Jesus says, let me see. Let me see the money. And he looks at it and he says, whose image is on it? And they say, Caesar. Caesar's image is on it. And he says, well, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's and give unto God what is God's. And everybody just is like, oh. Now at face value, a lot of us read it this way, like, okay, stop putting money ahead of everything. Let the people of the world have what the world has. And I got you, I feel you on that, and I see that too. But what about that line, give unto God what is God's? What is God's? Have you ever stopped and asked, what is Jesus talking about? Well, seeing that he just defined what belongs to Caesar as what had his image on it, what has God's image on it? Give Caesar the material things he wants, but give God yourself. And when you start to really think about the money as well and how we get compared to this money, just like we respect money because of the image that's on it, we don't respect people because of the image that's on it. I guarantee you, everybody that watches this video, if you walk past this, you pick it up. This wouldn't be no problem for you to pick up. That's just a dollar bill to you and me, right? None of us see these as dirty, money, unusable, no value. Why? Because the value isn't in the condition. As long as it has this image and this seal on it, we're good. Its value is good. So he looks at this money and says, whose image is on it? And he says, give it to them then but give God what belongs to him and his image is on us. Now here's the real interesting fact. We walk around like this. This has no value. This is nothing. It has the image, but it's missing something. It's missing its seal. And without its seal, it does nothing. It could be clean, it could be dirty. It doesn't matter. Without the seal, it has no value. This money cannot make itself have value. It needs that seal. But when you come to the Lord and you receive the seal of the King, and you have the image of God on you and the seal of that Holy Spirit, just like this seal, the value is on the seal and not the actual piece of money. Without it, it means nothing. With it, it could be used. It is now backed by the US government. Some of us came to Christ and this is what we look like. Oh well. And people want you to focus on that, on how dirty you were when you came to Christ. But what they fail to realize is that the seal is what matters. Yeah, I'm dirty. <laughs> My value is not in me. I'm worthless. Just like this paper is worthless. My value is in who backs me, who I represent, who has stamped me with his seal. So when I read this story, I see Jesus saying we need to give ourselves to God. Give ourselves to the Father because our value is in him. We belong to him. And if I drop a dollar, it doesn't lose its value. The seal doesn't fall off. And that's why that's one of my favorite passages. God bless and go in peace.